hi guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create an interactive select option field in figma where you click on a drop down you get a list of drop down and you can select from that list of drop down and it reflects in your select option field just like the way you're seeing here so please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get more videos like this um without further ado let's get right into the video all right so guys i have um my design here basically what we want to do is to create a drop down that can be selectable when someone clicks on this select gender input field here um and i've created a drop down um just um a list of items basically gender types and this is what i used as the individual item um, component so if you click on one of these individual items you can see it's an instance of a component here if you click on this button here go to main component it's going to take you to this button so for this instance i basically created two variants the normal one and the hover state so if i switch to the prototype mode you're going to see that i have a hover states that says why hovering just transition to this and um for this i also have a text property on the drop down that allows me to just rename all the so if i click on one of the instances, you will see there's a label and the label is male if i click on this you will see that the label is female so i have a text property. so that's basically what i have um for this tutorial obviously you can have something different um, you can just have a list of um, text like male female and others or whatever drop down you want to use so let's get right into the main focus of the point of today so basically what we want to do is to have a drop down just below this gender here right so i'm just going to position it just under the gender um field i'm going to select it i'm also going to select this gender input field and i'm going to hit align horizontal center so it's just going to align both of them to the center i want to make sure they are all aligned with all the other content i'm going to hit ctrl g to group it then i'm going to duplicate this whole section i'm going to hold alt click and drag out to create a duplicate for this whole section so what i want to do for this section right now is to make it a component right so i'm going to click on this component tab now that i have a component i'm going to click on add variants now we have two variants in this component set so for the first default state what i want to do is i'm going to go to this sizing section i'm going to click on this vertical sizing and i'm going to change it to fixed height then for the height i'm going to set the height to zero so now we cannot see the element again and then i'm going to go to um the pass through and i'm going to change the pass through to zero so it's going to be visible now for this particular state, we want to have this particular state both the state that shows only this section and the state that shows the entire drop down we want to have this particular state for all the other options which is male female and others so we'll first create a variant here we'll create the variant for this first one that means when someone selects male the person wants to um um want to see a selected male option in the select field so for this we are just going to rename this third variance to male right so after renaming it to male you can see we have this male section we can now create a prototype from this male input field we'll click on the prototype section we are now going to prototype it down to this male section here so for the male section we also need this um particular kind of variant so that when someone clicks on the male section it, the person gets a drop down just like this so we are going to click on this and create this for the male drop down now we are going to have this drop down for male but because the person clicks on male drop down here from here we want to make sure that this select field still says male so we'll come to this select field here and create and say male then we want to transition or want to prototype from this select field to this drop down menu so i'm going to click on the prototype section and i'm going to connect wires from this select field down to this drop down menu now we want to do the same thing for the female and the others 
so to do that i'm just going to do the same thing we did for mail i'm going to click on this section here i'm going to duplicate it right um i'm going to remove the prototype from it because we don't need it yet i'm going to do the same thing for this second kind of variant i'm going to duplicate it now what i want to do for this section is to create the female um input field and the female drop down i'm going to rename it this to female um and i'm going to rename the drop down to female so this is an instance where somebody clicks on the female input field he gets the drop down i'm going to do the same thing for others i'm going to create an the select field for others i'm going to rename this to others and i'm going to create the drop down for others so when someone clicks on the others input field they get a drop down for others so i'm going to click on this and create prototype we should remove the prototype from here but i'm just going to leave it um so here we have others drop down right others drop down you can go ahead to be renaming them um one after the other from here if you want to um but i won't do that so that i won't take much of your time now we have both um the input field and the drop down for others input field and drop down input field and drop down for females and we also have input field and drop down for male now we have all this set up then we have the input field and drop down for also this default select gender here although this default select gender or select option can be in your options but i just choose to not add it so um from here now i want to make sure every single option in this um selection goes to its respective um um what do they call it? it goes to its respective input field so for male we already did the prototype for male for the female i'm going to just drag it down to this female um select field so once you click on the female from this drop from this drop down item it's going to navigate to this selected female um field here so we'll do the same thing for others i'm going to click on others and i'm going to just um connect wires down to this others field we're going to do the same thing for the next we've already connected male which is this we're going to do the same thing for the next um drop down item which is female i'm going to connect the wires down to this female i'm going to do the same thing for others so i'm going to take it down to this others field here and um, we're going to come to this we are done with the second i'm going to come to the third one which is this female drop down We've already connected the wires for male because this is the instance we've been duplicating i'm going to click on the female item i'm going to connect wires up to this female field here then i'm going to click on others and i'm going to connect wires down to this others field here we're going to do the same thing for the others gender we already have the male because this is what we've been duplicating i'm going to click on the female i'm going to connect the wires from the female gender here up to the female nope that's wrong up to the female um select field and i'm going to do the same thing for others i'm going to connect the wires up to this others select field here so um with this i want to believe we have um all our prototype prototype you can see the three wires here um so we want to make sure this input field also um are going to the right position so on click of this mail we want to get this right on click of this female we want to bring it down to this drop down menu for the female um which is this here and on click for others we want to bring it down to this gender um to this last variant here that has the others option so with this i want to believe we've completely prototyped um our input field right so i notice we've not done for the initial gender drop down you click on the initial gender drop down then you connect the wires down to this drop down here for the initial gender which is the very first thing we are actually supposed to do so from here i want to believe we have all our wires connected um what i'm just going to do is i'm going to switch back to the design panel i'm going to click the very first instance here i'm going to copy it um and i'm going to come to this section where we have um, the grouped section i'm going to right click and paste to replace now we have this component instance here we can now view our prototype to see what it looks like so guys as you can see this is what the final product looks like 
um, if you click on this gender here you can switch to male um, from male you can switch to female um, from female you can switch to others um, from others you can go back to female you can go back to male and so on and so forth and this is it guys this is how to create an interactive um, select option field in figma thanks for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe like comment and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video